toilet shower the boys are in bed um and james and he wants to have a movie night and just relax and stuff but i just thought let me just turn on my camera and just have a little bit of a chat with you guys um because today's just been one of those days and i just need to just talk do you know what i mean so i thought i would just talk whilst doing my quick skincare routine with you guys yeah let's start with the cream first so to cream my body i use these two i'm just going to cream with these and then put something on and then come back to you guys if you follow me on um instagram you guys would know that i recently only now just started watching prison break and i am hooked literally hooked i'm on season four episode 10. basically whenever i'm working or like getting ready for anything I don't have music on in the background. I literally just have my series on what I'm watching. Anyway, how are you guys doing? Um, it's the new year. We are now in February. And you know what? The reason why I wanted to come on here is to literally say to you guys, I'm tired already and it's only February. I am literally tired already and it's in February and there's like no specific reason kind of like oh, I don't even know where to start so I already double cleansed the smell of this cream is so so good TikTok girls made me do it honestly they really did this smells so divine it was expensive I cannot lie. I feel like I paid £20 for this. Why does my under eye look so dark? I haven't got any makeup on, so I don't know why. Maybe it's because my TikTok works. Um, so first I'm going to tone. And to tone, I use this. Anyway, so what do I want to talk about first? The first thing is I'm tired. <sighs> do you know what? I don't even know why I'm tired because, to be honest, I have started the year off very, very slow. Like, in regards to, like, work, content creating business ideas and stuff like that I haven't actually really done anything because because December was so busy I didn't want to go into the new year like oh bam 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 let's work hard let's grind and stuff like I didn't want to do that straight away I kind of wanted to slowly get into it but I feel like what has actually made me feel tired is the kids guys it's actually my boys they are currently having tantrums I would say all day every day literally i either use this serum from garnier or l'oreal but my l'oreal one's finished so i actually need to top up and get another one and i'm probably gonna go and get that from super drug because super drug always do good offers yes yeah, so like um the boys have been throwing tantrums all day every day and you know when joel was Ruben's age obviously he, he had tantrums and stuff but the fact that they're both doing it at the same time together feeding into each other it's really hard um and it's really stressful because it kind of just it takes your energy it just it's just tight it's time do you know what it is it's tiring having to always diffuse their arguments, their little bickering, their fighting, their snatching, their not sharing. Constantly all day I'm like, no, stop, share, do, 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 do. Literally all day long. But it's been tiring. I can't lie. It's been tiring. It's been tiring. And although I don't have them every day, those days that they're in childcare, it's supposed to be my working days. But I, but I find myself like ramming everything in those two days. Like this week I'm gonna go see my friend like I try like I tried to do my social things during that time I tried to do my shopping during that time I tried to do my dentist and doctor's appointments during that time which I have to go next week so it's not really just my working days I'm like throwing everything into those two days to spend the rest of the week with them I don't know like I'm just ramming everything in those two days which also means that I'm not actually doing the amount of work that I want to do like I haven't really shot any content this year yeah I feel like I need to create a new plan on like creating content oil um it's harder not harder because i have so many plans and stuff for this year 
and not saying that because I've got my kids I can't achieve them it's just harder because you have to work around them so many things that I want to do I'm just using my retinal oil this one face theory but this is very this is I've had this for about two years and they've changed the packaging now so you won't see the packaging and there's so many things that I want to do there's so many things that I want to shoot there's so many business ideas and things that I kind of want to start working on but I'm finding that my time is very limited because when I'm with them five days a week it's hard to find that time so I am trying to so usually I nap when the kids nap but now I'm trying to work when the kids nap unless I'm really tired um I'm gonna start doing that kind of just using my time as well speed. but yeah so I'm blabbering on I'm blabbering on and this is why sometimes I don't do talks because I just go off on a tangent yeah so I've just been tired the kids have been tiring the little stage and phase that they're going through has been really tiring and it kind of just wears today it's just worn me down like it's worn me out James like are you okay and I'm just like I'm just tired I'm just tired and I have another day tomorrow Friday but I'm gonna go see my friend so some days it's like I have all the energy for them like I feel like you know I'm super mad get through but some days it's just tiring and I'm not complaining or anything I just wanted to just get that off my chest because that's how I feel today but yeah and I guess that's why I'm kind of back on YouTube you guys already know if you follow me on Instagram I like to chat on my stories but obviously I'm like limited because I don't want to keep posting so many one minute stories which is one of the reasons why I'm back um because I want to have oh sorry I'm using this is so good I just want to be able to just have a real talk with you guys and not have to be limited on what I want to share and even this year like one of my main goals is to focus more on YouTube to share more on here and like I said it's hard I have found someone to edit my content um to help um but a part of me is like i know how i want my videos to be myself so i'm gonna trial him and see um because it would just save time especially now that i want to post two days a week it would help having someone to do it for me but we'll see for now we'll see how it's going but yeah i just want to be on here sharing you know real real my real journey this journey with you guys journey of motherhood journey of finding myself journey of building my life the things that i want to achieve just my day to days with you raising my boys with my family my real days to days. so some videos are just going to be really raw like this and just nothing special and that's what most of my videos are going to be because um I just feel that that's me <laughs> don't know if that makes sense and I feel like this is just a good platform for me to just be able to communicate more with you guys and share more with you guys and then to finish I am going to use Amy's I think it's Amy's skin yeah um so yeah do you know what? I actually feel better just getting that off my chest and just saying that I feel tired and yeah, I feel like that in the beginning of the year, Reggie, I just don't feel really, not motivated, but I just feel so tired and drained. And I think I don't feel motivated because I feel tired. Do you know what I mean? But literally, even here, I've put my vision board here on the side. Let me finish it. I feel better, literally, just getting that off my chest. And that's what I said. I'm just coming here, not to have a big old chat, just to get things off my chest. Other than that, I'm good other than that i'm feeling better i'm back to the gym i'm feeling really healthy i've got my weights out so if i can't go to the gym i'll just work out from home um and yeah i'm good i'm just tired now that we're in february i need to start properly planning my year um and how i'm going to tackle gosh, and how am i going to tackle certain goals and things that I want to achieve there's one more thing that I wanted to talk about guys and I know some of you guys have been waiting for it and I've been showing it on my Instagram that I'm going to be doing something um for my hair and I'm basically doing a hair transplant I am going to Turkey to do a hair transplant it's out there I've said it I've said it so I booked it for this month um and how am I feeling I am so excited you might be thinking why and guys i'm telling you i need it i have always been insecure about my hairline and yeah the hair transplant is for my hairline it's not for anywhere else it's for my hairline 
for my edges so i've always been insecure about my edges i've never had i've never had full edges and like i said the other day i feel like it's in our genetics like me and my siblings my sisters have never had full edges full front edges we've always kind of had you know the little jaggedy jaggedy edges thin edges and I've always been conscious about it so whenever I wear hairstyles I hide it well especially when I do my middle part you guys will notice I will slick it down and back never backwards because of my hairline after having kids postpartum shed and all of that which I'm still experiencing um, it just took it out even more like literally I'm gonna try and insert some clips guys because some people don't believe me when I tell me my ed when I tell them my edges are finished <laughs> and I, like I said in my, my ins and out 2024, I'm in 2023, 2024, I really want to be and feel the best in 2024 from this year in everything that I do with my work, with my diet, with my health, with what I do, my social life, with my family, with my skin, with my hair, with my nails and for hair, the only way personally for me that I would feel a lot more confident is, and wearing my hair out more which is what I want to do this year is getting it fixed and getting it fixed and I'm so excited it's finally going to be done I'll talk about it briefly here because I am actually going to vlog it and show you, take you guys along with me so I'm going to Turkey um, I'm going for two nights and um, the procedure happens on the second day and then the day before the day that I'm leaving is when I have the final checkup there are two methods ways of doing it there's FUE and there's a DHI which is a little bit more it's more new the, the FUE is what you probably see on the internet more is where people shave off the front of their hair or all of their hair and get some fat um, graft hair graft from the back and then um, from the donor area and then implant the grafts in the front of the hair for me I didn't want to start my whole hair journey again I didn't want to do that I'm not doing it to start my hair again I'm not doing it for anything else I'm literally just doing it for my edges so it didn't make sense for me to go for the FUE I sent them pictures of my hairline before I even said that that's the one I wanted because I asked about both they suggested that I do that procedure because they said I don't have alopecia in the sense that I've got like I'm really going backwards like my hairline's really going back it's just it's just patchy and they feel like I don't need to do the whole intrusive like shaving it all off and doing that they think I just need to do the DHI the so DHI in short I'm going to try and leave something here or in the comments in the description is basically a newer method where they implant the hair grafts using some kind of pen and um, basically what it is in my terms they don't they still take graft from the donor area at the back from the hair from the hair at the back they take it out and they implant it in your hairline they don't shave anything so they cut they implant it in your current hairline and that for me was like yeah this is perfect for me uh, recovery will be easier like I won't have to wait for everywhere to grow because my hair will be the same except the back part which I can cover until it grows back but my edges will be the same it will just start to look fuller because they would have filled it out if that makes sense I am so excited I cannot wait um, I will do another video talking more about it um, I know that a lot of people have questions about it so I'm going to share the journey with you guys but I thought I would just let you guys know I think they say you can wear a wig and cover your hair after 10 days I think don't quote me on that but I, I work from home and I'm at home so and like I said because I'm not shaving off all of my hair I will still look normal I'll just have like some scabs at the front of my hair for a couple of weeks once that falls off it will just start to grow through so it's really going to be a nice smooth procedure and I, I wanted to actually do it in January but I was so busy because I wanted by summer for me to have some new growth um, but they say it takes a proper full year for you to probably see the proper results but I've seen people that do the DHI um, procedure method and they have growth within three to four months so summer i should be having some edges and like i said guys i cannot express how excited i am because if you've been blessed with edges guys do not take it for advantage yeah don't take it for advantage like just being able to just slick my hair back and like like i said every time i slick my hair i always have to you know drag the side drag this at this i just want to be able to just put leave-in conditioner and put my hair back do you know what i mean like those who know know exactly what i'm feeling and i cannot wait um the boys will be staying either at grandma's house or my sister's house for the two nights only two nights um and yeah like i said i'll be vlogging everything but yeah i'm going to do my chair transplant i'm so excited and i was going to make a holiday out of it but we've we're actually coming back from a staycation the weekend before the 
few days before so I won't have time to but yeah that's another update but yeah YouTube I just feel like I'm definitely going to do a lot more sit down chit and chatting with you guys um and I've got some videos that I want to share um some fashion videos some affordable fashion bits so just a little bit of everything so like I said January was very slow even the beginning of February was really slow I didn't do much but I'm coming back I'm definitely coming back and I am just praying through this toddler stage I am getting advice from friends as the best way to deal with it I am also not being hard on myself and if I need like help with my husband I will ask if I need a break I will do it I will relax if I need to get out of the house I'll get out of the house like my mental health is really important um and your mental health is so much more important it is important i shouldn't say so much more important but when you have children you really need to be okay because it can knock you like days like this can really, really knock you and today has just been a challenging day it's just been such a challenging day but you know what showering do my skincare and just coming on here with you guys has just made me feel a little bit better um but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if this wasn't really interesting. I just wanted to just talk and also tell you guys that I'm doing my hair transplant because I feel like I was keeping it a secret and I wasn't keeping it a secret. I just wanted to wait to tell you guys properly here rather than on Instagram because I'll be documenting here. I don't know if I'll be documenting it on Instagram. That's why I wanted to share it here. But anyway, tomorrow is Friday. I'm going to see my friend Deborah. Um... And I think Adam is coming. I'm going to have a nice little catch up with the girls, with the boys. So I'm going to bring the boys. And then James said today that actually he wants to give me a little bit of a break on the weekend. <laughs> so he's going to take the boys out on the weekend. But in my head, I'm like, we've got Pancake Day next week and it's Valentine's next week. Maybe we should create some content together. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm that kind of person. Every time I'm like, you have the option of resting or working or doing something, I always work. I need to get a bit more of a balance with that and actually there's one more thing that I wanted to talk about there's one more thing that I wanted to talk about how could I forget how could I forget one thing that has been helping me incredibly on days like this and something that I vowed that not I vowed I committed myself to doing in 2024 was making sure I find time to spend with God every day and you know what since being a mum guys is so much harder <laughs> it is so much harder to find that time you know when you're single when you're it's just you and your partner you have so much time but when you have two children or even more or even one because you're tired because you've got so many things to do finding that time can be hard and i found myself last year not being consistent with my devotion with my spending time i've got in my reading the bible all of that stuff i found myself falling off I was always praying and things like that but the time that I had with was spending with God wasn't as it wasn't quality time all the time and I said no 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 this year we are not doing that we are not doing that I was even speaking to my friend yesterday at church about it and I was even like you know even having that time with my kids every night I pray with the kids but I was just asking advice like what do you do even though Joanne and Ruben are young, I want to start, you know, reading to them, reading the Bible to them, reading the Bible story. So ask for advice. So that's something that I'm also going to be doing daily with them in the mornings whilst they're having breakfast. I really want to get back to, you know, committing everything to God, putting God first. Um, and having that time with him every day is really important for me. And do you know what was a wake up call, guys? Because, you know, last year when I was like trying to lose weight and stuff, um, I was waking up at like 4 a.m. to go to the gym, you know, and come back home and stuff like that. But then I would say I'm too tired to read the Bible. I'm too tired to wake up and pray. But I was okay to like get up and go to the gym. And for me, it was like God was like, "This week, you do have the time." And it really made me think, where I'm, where's my priority? Do you know what I mean? Because I was willing to do it for my physical body. But to wake up and spend time with God, there was always like an excuse. Oh, you know, the boys, like the boys wake up at a good time. I can also get a good lie in. Um, so what I've been doing, before I would share with you guys, what I've been doing is waking up an hour before and spending time with God in the mornings and getting that in. If I'm so, if I'm really, really tired, even if it's not an hour, half an hour, or even 20 minutes, having that time to read the Bible. 
And you know, I find that the days and the times that I'm consistent with spending time with God in the mornings, my days are a lot smoother. My days are a lot more peaceful. I have a lot more patience. I don't know what it is. And it's, it's like, and I know that God is with me. He is with me through those days. And I find that sometimes when I'm so distracted with everything else, I'm not allowing him to be a part of my day. Because he's obviously there. But when you're not in spirit, when you're not in communion or in sync with him, you're kind of taken on the day by yourself, if that makes sense. So I just thought I'd share that because that's something that is my priority and I'm going to commit to every single day. Like I said, even if it's five minutes, even if for some reason I don't wake up in the morning, I will find that time before I go to bed because I need him in my life every single day. Anyway, I've got to go. I will catch you guys in my next video. And if there's anything you guys want me to talk about or you've got any questions, please don't be shy. Just send me a message or on my Instagram because obviously you don't want to put everything here in the comments or in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video.